Hello, YouTube world. Techno guy three and Jeff, who is on the line on Skype. Um, today we're going to be doing a tech talk uh, about Windows 7, and is releasing when, Jeff? Uh, October 22nd, 12:01 a.m. 12:01 a.m. But anyway, I think we should discuss a little bit about what Windows 7 is going to bring to us. I, I, I was also going to say, at 12.01 a.m., I am buying Windows 7. At 12.01 a.m. on October 22nd, I am staying up on a school night at 12.01 a.m. and buying Windows 7. Goodbye, Jeff. Goodbye. Thank you. But anyway, I think we should talk about a little bit about the features of Windows 7, what this is going to bring to people who already have Vista or still are on XP. In my opinion, if you're on XP, you really need to upgrade. It's a 2001 operating system. It's eight years old. You need an upgrade, dude. And if you're on I, Windows... I can understand that upgrading to Vista, but I mean, Windows 7? That's yeah, what Windows 7 is a bomb. Yeah. If you have Windows... Vista, some people think you need to upgrade even more because Vista sucks so much. It doesn't really suck anymore, but it did suck. Service Pack 1. Uh, actually, before Sir Service Pack 1, it completely sucked. I got it. I got it the first day, too. None of my drivers, except my uh, sound driver. I got it the video driver, actually. Nothing worked before they released the Service Pack. When did you get um, Vista account? right before they released the service pack when I first got it it was like horribly buggy and you couldn't do anything but then they released the service pack and everything was fine it was slow for me it's still I slow it's, it's still uses up way too many resources but Windows 7 it's fixes that really problem gone. and they've copied app a little bit with the super bar the really stupid name super cool. bar super bar <laughs> but, yeah <laughs> Whoever, that's pretty stupid, whoever yeah. names products for Windows really needs to like get on the ball. They can't even figure out a name for Windows 7. It's just seven. called it's Windows, Windows 7. 7. 7. Think about it. 7. 7. 7. 7. 7. seven. But anyway, XP Super Bar. What's XP stand for? What's XP stand for? That's what I don't experience. get. Experience. Experience. Yes, experience. I think it, Windows XP was a major operating system. It was. It was the best selling operating system. Ever. Yeah. For especially on one or two. Windows XP sucked when it first came out, too. But then they released the Service Pack and everything is fine and dandy. I think Service Pack 2 is the best. But like Service Pack 3, like, had all the security stuff in it that we really didn't need all that much. Yeah, it there is too much security stuff. And, I mean, but anyway, something that Microsoft is doing that's like a first for them is releasing a product that already works when they release it. That's never happened before. Windows 7 works. I've been using the beta and the, the, whatever you call it, the release, uh... Candidate. Candidate, that's the word. I was trying to think of the word. RTM, we're released to manufacturer. Yeah. Um, I've been using that for, like, a long time, and it's definitely been working great. Um, I like the Super Bar. I think they did, they kind of copied Apple's dock, but... I really It'll think play. they did it well. They actually copied Apple well for a change. Same thing happened when they did the Vista uh, sidebar. They copied Apple's dashboard, the widgets. They called them gadgets. I mean, come on. Think of a more creative name when you copy someone, Microsoft. But but anyway, the Super Bar, I definitely like the Super Bar. It's pretty much the same as... Apple's dock, but... I like the dock, and I like the super bar. If the dock... If I like the dock, I like the super bar. I actually like the super bar better than, than the dock. I don't know yeah, about it's just organized better. I agree, actually. It, it, it's more organized. It is more organized. I, think, I like it's more organized. I think with OS 11, Apple's going to fix that, though, and everyone's going to be blown away. When yeah. OS 11 comes out, and that's going to be amazing. And then Microsoft is going to copy them in Windows 8. Yeah. <laughs> And if you just look at OS 9 to OS 10, you can see the difference. It's amazingly different. Huge. Apple did a really good job designing OS 10. They did. 
Work to get the Apple Geeks man out there, OSX. Oh. Yeah, don't, don't, just don't. If, if Chris Perillo heard that, he'd be like, No! No! It's OS 10! The operating system says that it's OS 10! See right here, I press OXX, and I press Enter, and it says OS 10. That's what the narrator says, so it obviously is OS 10. Steve Jobs says OS 10. It's definitely OS 10, people. It's not OS X. But anyway, what this is going to bring for XP users is a much, much different interface. It's going to be, like, hugely different, but it's better. It's definitely better. It's, it's more organized. It's easier to get around. They've definitely improved a lot of things. Um... But, yeah, it's very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. I have to agree. That's, that's all you got to say. Um, I like the libraries thing where they have all the videos, the pictures, the documents, all in just that little libraries tab. I thought that was a li little neat little feature. It, it was, actually. And I also like how Windows 7 runs so much faster and doesn't have yeah. that memory it memory, it memory it leak that uh, that uh, Vista has. It uses up half the resources of Vista, so it's it it, it will almost match XP in fastness. Okay, okay. ready? I have Skype open. I have your stream open, and I have my IRC client. And my computer is running at four percent right now. Good for you. RAM. He's running Windows Seven right now. Maybe I shouldn't have told him that. Yeah, I am running Windows Seven right now. <laughs> I'm not running Windows Seven. I'm on Vista. And guess how much processing my Vista is using? I'm on a 2.0 gigahertz dual core processor, and all I have open is Skype and UStream. It's using up. 77, 80 percent of both cores. So that that would be what is that? 80 percent of the whole processor. It's using up 80 percent of the processor. I'm at 30. I'm at 33 percent now. Three percent. Yeah, that's that yeah. Windows and I have seven. Processes. Windows seven is three percent. Windows Vista is using 80 percent. What does that tell you? You definitely need to upgrade to Windows 7 if you're a Windows fan. Actually, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to upgrade because I'm going to get OS 10 Snow Leopard. Even though I think Windows 7 is a viable competitor to Snow Leopard. So well, you're probably still going to end up upgrading because you're still going to have that computer. Yeah. But uh, so that's pretty much it for the Windows video, Callan. That is pretty much it. But um. Just to say, on the little subject of OS X, I really think Snow Leopard was a tiny upgrade. I don't... I think they should have done more. I'm not... I'm not uh, yeah, Snow Leopard was a tiny upgrade. It's basically just Leopard with a couple new features and a new name. Yeah. And a little bit I, of a Under the hood changes. But anyway, that that's Windows 7 video for you guys. It's lasted nine minutes. I hope you're not bored now. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Techno Guy 3 and Tech Up with Jeff. I don't think he has a hand motion. Peace. What it, what is your hand motion, Jeff? Mine is uh, Spider-Man hand motion. Oh, screw you. <laughs> okay.